All right, we are here with a different type of video. Uh, this one gonna be more or less how to set up the framework for the server uh, and how to get everything going. So a couple things you want to do is have something like XAMPP uh, and that's gonna control your uh, database. So then you're gonna start, I start these two top ones, MySQL and Apache. Um, next, you would wanna download uh, this uh, Git, uh, I would personally download it from GitHub Desktop uh, and just put it in somewhere. Uh, that way, whenever I put updates into here, uh, you could just pull them in. So, um, a couple things that you will see is your server.cfg, and this is where I mean I'm gonna. I mean, I guess I already show some shit, but uh, you're gonna basically have to put in your license key as well as your Steam API key. If you don't know how to get your Steam API key, you just type in uh, Steam API in your Google and it will pop up. Um, these ones are specific to me. I think this code's, I think both these codes actually are deleted, but uh, you just put plug the errors in and you're almost good to go. Um, after you do that, when you have ZAMP open, you're gonna go over to the base so we have a SQL right here for the base. And when you're in here, you can click admin and give it a second to load. And I'm super zoomed in, but I'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, once you're in here, if you don't have anything on this side, that means your SQL is not in. You should have something like MP framework uh, and it shows something similar to this uh, without probably with probably without player outfits and player skins. Uh, that one we're still getting worked on. Um, but then you would all you would click is import, choose file, and you would go to wherever your folder is and basically click the SQL and then click go, which will then import it and give you something like this without player skins and player outfits. It would give you your player's structure, which stores your license, your identifier, and ID and everything in here that you need. Um, after that, you would just simply start your server. Um, yeah, and then there are a couple things that I'm working on. Uh, mainly one's gonna be in AirLog, uh, which doesn't really have to be updated uh, for you guys. It's just gonna send into a Discord channel of mine. So we can go in here for an example. Uh, it would probably just send it into a Discord channel of mine, and it would just paste out uh, almost, almost, uh, do we have any errors in here? Uh, it would, yeah, it would almost print out some of these errors and send it to a desktop. It would actually print out these errors. So, um, this isn't any script here, but uh, it would print out your F8 errors and send it to a Discord uh and you could set that up to send it to your Discord as well. Um, other than that, um, that should be it. This is sort of a small video just to help you guys get a little more set up. I, I suggest using XAMPP if you are new. Uh, there's some other ones. MangoDB, I believe, is pretty good. Um, but yeah, just make sure you're importing your SQL and then everything in here. Uh, make sure you set your Steam API key and your 5M uh, key as well. Other than that, though, that is going to be it. It's a short video. Uh, probably going to be another three-video week, but we'll see. But have a good one.